Governor Gavin Newsom wrapped a day-long Cleaner California tour in Los Angeles on Wednesday, July 7 after spending the day touting the state's new $1, $1 billion plan to erase trash and graffiti from highways, roads and other public spaces, an effort he said will beautify the state and create up to 11,000 jobs. The governor also made stops in the Bay Area and San Joaquin Valley to promote his program. It's not just about litter, it's about beautification, Newsom said. We want to beautify the space. Newsom hosted the Southern California media event, his third of the day after appearances in Richmond and Fresno, under the 110 freeway on West Washington Boulevard on Wednesday evening, joined by Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti and Tox Omashakin, director of the California Department of Transportation. At-risk youth and people who were formerly homeless or formerly incarcerated will be given priority for the jobs created by the three-year program. In the last week, 400 people have already been hired or offered a job, Newsom said. I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, rich or poor, Newsom added, we all express the same frustration when we drive around the state and see garbage in the streets. The cleanup comes amid growing debate over homeless encampments that have sprouted under highway overpasses and near freeway exit and entry ramps throughout California in the past few years. The encampments have grown during the pandemic, and many are filled with sofas, mattresses and other items used by the unhoused people who live there. The Clean California program funds, however, are not allowed to be used to displace such people experiencing homelessness, state officials said. An estimated 161,000 people are experiencing homelessness in the nation's most populous state, more than in any other. Advocates say they can't house people quickly enough amid a severe shortage of housing units and sky-high rents. Newsom said the state is working to do more for individuals experiencing homelessness. There's no compassion in stepping over someone on the street, he said. Earlier in the day, a federal appeals court heard arguments, but made no ruling in the city and county of Los Angeles bid to vacate a judge's order forcing local government to offer shelter to every homeless person on Skid Row by the middle of October. U.S. District Judge David Carter issued the mandatory injunction in April, ordering that all homeless inhabitants of Skid Row must be offered some form of shelter by October 18, starting with single women and unaccompanied children. The city and county immediately requested that the U 9th Circuit Court of Appeals issue a stay pending appeal. The hearing was part of a lawsuit brought in March 2020 in federal court by the LA Alliance for Human Rights, an association of downtown residents, homeless individuals and property owners seeking to compel local government to find shelter for the thousands of people camping on city sidewalks.